Hey, do I say one, two, three? Hey, okay, let's go. Hey guys, it's Callie Lewis from Geek Beat. I have a review for you today, but uh, first I have to admit something, something you don't know about me. I have an obsession with Android launchers. I know, you never heard me talk about them because I have not ever found one that I have liked. I've tried them all, all of them out there, got rid of them within 20 minutes. I hated them. So until- Are you in a 12 step program? <laughs> right, I am. Until um, yesterday when I downloaded Aviate. Now it's a, I'm gonna call it an Android launcher. For those of you who don't know what Android launchers are, it's really just an, an app that kind of takes over your dashboard. Um, so when you open your phone, this app is the first thing you see and you navigate to everything from there. Like, so, a, like a theme for your phone. Pretty much. This is what it kind of looks like. Um, this is Aviate. They call it an intelligent uh, dashboard and it really is, that's a good description. I kind of think of it as an entire OS because we have all this stuff going on. Um, and so let's start from this screen. This is the main screen. You can set Does that say nude? No, yes, it does. That's a product, a you're, review. You're nude on there? Uh -huh, no. Uh, this is my favorite photo from Hawaii where I was paddle boarding in the Hawaiian waters, which was awesome. And then, uh, as you can see, the calendar. These are my choice of widgets. You can add whatever you want. These are my favorite apps, the ones I go to on a daily, regular basis. Um, you'll notice most people are going to have these two, the phone and the message, the SMS screen. The one thing, and this might be a big no-no for a lot of you and it will cause you not to download it, but it will not display the little bubble of how many unread messages or you know, missed calls that you have. You're gonna have to rely on your dashboard for that, on, on your notifications bar for that. Um, that is hopefully in the works. They say that it's going to come at some point, but keep in mind this is a, um, this is still in private alpha. So we're talking alpha here, not even beta. So hopefully soon. All right, so those are the favorites. And then where this really gets interesting is this screen over to the left. These are the spaces. This is home, we've got work, going somewhere when you're out and about. And nearby right here will show you, as long as your GPS is on, wherever, uh, whatever you have uh, close to you. So here, this is why it's intelligent. When you're at home, it'll know that you've come home and it'll change to uh, your different preferences. So I could have different home apps here. So my Sonos, for example, every time I'm at home, when I'm, you know, unpacking for the day, I'll have uh, my, my music running. Uh, you have weather if you want, you can change all of these. So work, uh, all of the different, you know, send an email, you can have all your work apps there, and going somewhere, you can have all the navigation. Definitely use, make use of the traffic. You can set your home and office location so it knows where you are at all times. And um, what's interesting, I can't show this to you right here, but uh, what I love is it changes throughout the day. So when you wake up in the morning, it changes to the morning screen and it'll display, like if you have a morning routine, like you wake up every day, you turn on Pandora, you check your stocks, you check the news, you have those certain apps, it'll, you can set those and it'll uh, display all of those without you doing a thing. Very, very cool. And so same thing for evening. Uh, over here, we've got all of the collections. These intelligently get sorted right when you install Aviate. So uh, it'll do social, it'll look at all of the apps that you have installed on your uh, phone and kind of intelligently sort them. You can, of course, change those preferences as you want. I'm a little anal, so I, I went through and changed them all. <laughs> um, you just set your collections based on the options that they give you here, so you can choose, you know, bars, if you go to barring a lot. Is that a word, barring? I don't think so. Um, fitness, games, all those things. Now, the one complaint I have here is that you can't create a brand new collection. So if they don't have that as an option, a collection that's just not there, you can't create a brand new one. Hopefully they add that in the future as well. 
Um, and then over to the uh, right again, you have all the possible apps that you have on your phone. So just sort through, hold and drag over to a collection or to your home screen. Um, you just drag and drop. Uh, I'm doing it from the side, so that's not working out really well. <laughs> um, I am pretty much in love with this. I, again, like I said, I've never found a, an Android launcher that I love and will work with. So this is really, really cool. It is in private alpha. You have to have an email invite. And unfortunately, I'm sorry guys, I don't have any invites available, but um, go find somebody that does, maybe look online. A Geeks community, if you have some available, post and share and let me know what you think. One last tidbit of information, Dave Curley behind the screen, behind the camera, uh, he actually installed it on his phone and he likes it, but he's on gingerbread. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I don't know what's wrong with they, them. They don't pay me. They don't pay me enough to go buy a new phone year. <laughs> All right, thanks, Dave. Um, he's on Gingerbread, and it seems to be having a little bit uh, of uh, issues with, uh, like, him not being able to answer the phone when uh, somebody calls in. Yeah, the so phone comes like on, that. but doesn't have focus. Right. So anyway, those are the uh, pros, the cons, the future hopefully of what uh, my phone will always look like and what about yours leave a comment below give us a thumbs up on youtube.com slash gatebait tv too if you got them bye turned it off it's a blank phone <laughs> <laughs>